Wednesday, June 6th, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the ongoing eruption of Mount Kilauea on the Big Island of Hawaii. It's been erupting now for over 30 days straight, and we're going to take a look at some 30-day numerical totals involving that volcanic eruption, that historic volcanic eruption. But first, I want to touch base on a large volcano in New Zealand that's starting to show signs of activity. This volcano is situated on the North Island of New Zealand. The lake you see here at the summit of this volcano, the lake temperature is starting to increase. Historically, when the lake temperature increases, so does volcanic activity, sometimes leading to a volcanic eruption. So we're monitoring this volcano very, very closely on the North Island of New Zealand could yet have another volcano to add to the list of active volcanoes. Right now we're looking at the summit of Kilauea. This is a new webcam that the USGS has positioned overlooking the crater uh, Haile Maumau. And this is a live stream. This is a new camera they put up, I think, just in the last day or two. The activity you see right now is fairly new. There wasn't anything here this morning. It was very, very quiet. In fact, you could see the other side of the crater wall uh, very clearly. So anyway, this is a new camera. I'll post the link below in the description box. Um, it's another good source of information from the USGS, much like the earthquakes. Been monitoring this since day one. Um, saw this go up over 4,000, the global total for seven days. And the majority of those quakes were right here on the Big Island near Kilauea and the lower east rift zone of the Big Island. Right now it's at 3,627, um, just historic totals. And we're going to share some of those numbers here in just a moment. In fact, let's get to them right now. This is from the USGS, um, 30 days of activity at Kilauea Volcano. The area that it's covered is 7.7 square miles that's been covered by lava. There's been 24 separate fissure vents. There's been four lava flows that have reached the ocean. And in fact, there was one overnight or late yesterday that went through Kapoho near vacation land, made a, a ocean entry here. And unfortunately, even more homes, several more homes were taken out by lava flow. And I want to be the first to say I'm very sorry to everyone that's been affected by this volcano. I know it's been a long month, and this volcano is not showing any signs of letting up, unfortunately. So hang in there, and I'm telling you, I've been sitting on the edge of my seat for 30 days watching this unfold, and it has been a historic event. I've never seen so many earthquakes in a concentrated area. And that's what I wanted to share in this video. The amount of earthquakes, and I think this is probably approximate because at times I'm sure it's even difficult to to separate the earthquakes from volcanic eruptions. There's been just so much activity. But right now the number stands at 9,900, almost 10,000 earthquakes since May 4th. That is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the highest lava fountain was measured at 250 feet. The fastest moving lava flow was recorded at 656 yards per hour. That's very quick. Uh, 30,000 feet above sea level was the highest ash plume recorded out of the summit of Kilauea. The largest earthquake up to this point has been 6.9. Um, and hopefully it won't get any higher than that. Historically, there have been uh, larger earthquakes than that. But I think some of those large earthquakes involved the eruption of Mauna Loa. I think a few of the earthquakes have involved Mount Kilauea, but I do know some of the historically larger earthquakes involved a eruption of Mount uh, or Mauna Loa. But as you can see right here, the 30-day total is absolutely unbelievable. Almost 10,000 earthquakes since May 4th. I've never seen anything like that. 10,000 earthquakes and it's not done yet they're still occurring as I do this video unbelievable and finally I've got an update from a USGS volcanologist Jessica Ball we'll play that update right now 
It was updated today, uh, June 6th, 2018. Good morning, everyone. This is the HVO video update for June 6th. In the lower east rift zone, activity continues largely as it has yester since yesterday. Fissure 8 is still fountaining up to 180 feet in height and feeding an active lava flow channel. Um, the margins of that channel are largely stable and there have been no reported breakouts since yesterday. Uh, the flow front from the Fisher 8 lava flow has now completely filled Kapoho Bay and created a delta about um, 0.8 miles from the former coastline. Uh, we have reports now that only small portions of Kapoho beach lots remain and a northern lobe is slowly advancing into that area. Uh, a southern lobe of the flow has now completely covered the vacation land subdivision. And there's now a flow front that has channelized south of the new delta and is producing a robust laze plume or lava haze. And we remind you that lava haze contains hydrochloric acid and glass fragments and should be avoided. Um, at the summit, small explosions continue, um, accompanied by frequent rock falls and continued subsidence. Yesterday, an overflight showed a great deal of slumping into the Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater. Uh, from the rim and walls of the crater, so that continues to enlarge, and we expect continued explosions, heightened seismicity, and gas emissions from the summit crater. Thank you. So as she stated, the activity is expected to continue. I think that's why they put this live stream webcam at the summit of Kilauea. And as you can see, it does look like a, a small canyon now. You're starting to see smoke come up out of the bottom, smoke or uh, steam some sort of ash earlier this morning uh, there was not anything coming out of this crater it was actually very very quiet so this is kind of new and in fact the camera's new i don't even think it's a day old thanks for watching guys all links below in the description box have a super day and be safe out there